Hi, this video is going to be about population genetics and today I prepared three uh, true-false questions. This is uh, easy question, so I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions and try to choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. Evolution by natural selection works best in population having no variation. And this is false statement because in order for the uh, evolution to work, there should be some variation in the population. So uh, each individual should vary to the um, small extent and uh, best suited uh, genotypes or phenotypes uh, would uh, prevail. And this is how uh, uh, evolution happens, because uh, when we have uh, variation, some of the variants would be more uh, better suited for the environment and some less. And uh, sometimes there is some populations that went through the bottlenecks and th there is not enough uh, variations in such population. And in uh, such events, like uh, some disaster events like uh, for example virus uh, disease the whole populations uh, can be wiped out uh, because uh, there is no variations but when there are variations like uh, we can see it through whole uh, history of the humankind even uh, some disease that wipe out uh, half of the europe but still due to variation uh, some of the people have uh, been uh, able to survive, so they were best suited, and um, this is how evolution works. So, next question. The effects of the genetic drift are most apparent in a small populations. And this is true, because uh, consider, for example, um, when we have small population, and 10%, uh, for example, would have a uh, small allele, A recessive allele, and 90% would have a uh, dominant allele, A. And imagine that we have only 10 people, and uh, one would belong to this group, 10%, and uh, 9 out of 10 would belong to this. And just imagine this, that this person didn't uh, make up uh, to reproductive age and die before he can uh, reproduce. So this allele would be lost. So uh, this is because this is small population. But imagine that this population would be, for example, of the 10,000 individuals. And uh, that means uh, this 10% or one individual would uh, represent 1,000 uh, individuals. So if there is no selection against this genotype uh, small allele A, that is uh, recessive allele, if there is no um, selection against this uh, phenotype or genotype, then even if one or two or three person uh, wouldn't be able to reach reproductive age, on overall this wouldn't affect its frequency in the gene pool, this particular allele. So uh, here is the answer A. This is true. The smaller the population, the more effect of the uh, genetic drift or uh, also, for example, um, migration, for example, that brings new alleles in the population or uh, alleles can be lost due to uh, immigration. So, next question. In breeding, increase the population of uh, homozygous individuals in a population. And this is true, because when we have inbreeding, with each round of inbreeding, for example, if we take plants, uh, we can start uh, with uh, heterozygous uh, plants in the most uh, loci, but with each round uh, of the self-pollination, the uh, heterozygosity would be lost by 50%. And in about uh, 10 rounds of uh, 
um, in self uh, pollination or inbreeding uh, almost uh, 99 over 99 percent of the loci of such a plant would be uh, in the homozygous state it can be homozygous dominant or homozygous homozygous uh, recessive but uh, heterozygosity would be lost so this is why we choose answer A for this uh, question or statement. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, write your comments. Goodbye.